birth of a new day on Lake Michigan. What's beautiful on the surface is not so pretty below. Zebra and quagga mussels are stealing the life out of the lake. We know that uh, yellow perch are in trouble in certain areas of the Great Lakes. Zebra mussels may be contributing to that. They may be contributing to the impacts on the whitefish population, and they may also be uh, impacting the lake trout populations, especially in Lake Michigan, Lake Huron, as well as uh, Lake Ontario. The invasive species are said to have arrived in the Great Lakes from Europe aboard ocean-going ships. But thousands of our inland lakes and rivers have been infected too. And ironically, the blame goes to those who value the lakes the most, recreational boaters and anglers who forgot or didn't know how to clean their boats when they moved from one body of water to another. Because it only takes one idiot. And if, if one person makes the mistake or doesn't care and, and transports two or more of the animals, one of each gender, then uh, it's uh, over. If lake water is left in your boat and it looks clean, don't be fooled. When zebra mussels reproduce, they produce eggs that then are fertilized, and those uh, fertilized eggs then hatch into larvae. Those larvae are virtually invisible to the naked eye. There's about 100 zebra mussel larvae in this vial. Make sure that you don't move water of any kind from one body of water to another. Uh, that means the bait buckets and the live wells and anything else that might be contained in your, in your vessel. This is where the really important part is of the motor because this is where the cooling water is then uh, sucked into the motor to make sure that the motor uh, has proper circulation and is cooled while in operation. Unfortunately, this motor was overheated and destroyed because up in this cooling system, zero muscles have clogged the water intake. Now, after 20 years of exploding populations in the Great Lakes region, the quagga and zebra mussels have migrated west. The quagga mussel population was first found in Lake Mead in 2007 and quickly spread throughout the lower Colorado River system. It's moving upstream now in the Colorado. It's uh, colonizing all the reservoirs. It's, it's moving into reservoirs in Southern California. As the zebra mussel begins to spread, um, across the Mississippi, into the west now, down in the Colorado River that uh, feeds the aqueduct in the California for drinking water for San Diego and Los Angeles, the costs are going to be in the billions. And it's almost a more serious problem because water is moved so much in the west in aqueducts and other types of water conduits that now the West was fearing the invasion of zebra and quagga mussels. Starting in 2007, they realized they're here. And now, zebra and quagga mussels can be found in 20 states and hundreds of inland lakes. They also inhabit six major rivers in the United States. They leave a path of destruction in their wake that includes ecology changes to the water and the loss of millions of dollars to industry. It's just a matter of time before these insidious creatures find their way into a lake near you. If you see any of them as adults alive, you'll see many more of them soon. You have to do things differently. You just gotta figure out how to, how to, do, how to survive with them because you're not gonna get rid of them. And even though scientists at the New York Museum in Albany have found a substance that they hope will better control zebra and quagga mussels in the years ahead, the unfortunate reality will likely never change. You got them in your lake, they will always be in your lake. And hopefully in the meantime, uh, there's not a new invader that comes in and changes the equation again. One thing to remember about zebra and quagga mussel is that the larvae are small, microscopic, Leave a little water in your boat and you can transport thousands. To prevent the spread of these devastating invasive species, boaters and anglers must drain their boat before leaving the launch area. That includes your bilge, live well, and bait well if you have one, and the outboard's lower unit. And the best part, it's simple and it only takes a few seconds.